Good morning. Welcome back to Expert Insights. I'm Yosh Raju Mantian, and we are talking to my guest this morning, Mr. Andy Kunz, the movie maker, martial artist, and Baby M, the singer from South Africa slash Japan. So, Andy, your turn. Uh, so, you mm -hmm. are making one movie now in the Philippines, no? With mm -hmm. the support of the Film Academy, no? The name of the movie is? Uh, Manila Dragon. Okay. The, the writer of the story and the producer is Vic Tiro. Vic Tiro. Vic Tiro is, okay. is uh, he play in Amaya, one of the Datus. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's uh, very good in martial arts. They, right. they know it. They call him the Bruce Lee of Philippines. So oh, sounds dangerous, yeah. Because his style is also a little bit like Bruce Lee. And mm -hmm. uh, he looks like Bruce Lee. And Gosh. he is the main actor in this movie. Mm -hmm. I'm the bad guy in this movie. Mm -hmm. That's very nice uh, challenge to play a bad guy. Which you don't look bad guy at all. You know, <laughs> you naturally look like a good guy. That's that's the uh, that's the thing in uh, movies and acting. In, in this movie, uh, at first time I, I I'm very nice and kind, but behind I kill everybody. Oh, I you're, do you're some one bad of those sleaze balls. Huh? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, when will this movie be out? Uh, we will start next week. I mm -hmm. don't know when we will finish it, mm -hmm. but we are working on this project and mm -hmm. so... Good luck to us. No? Lots of expats in the movies besides you? Are yeah. there any other expats besides uh, you in the movie? Expats? Foreigners? Foreigners, non-Filipinos? Uh, yes, Brian Brees. I think he's half Filipino. He lives in Germany now. Mm -hmm. He's my... Uh, my assistant in the movie, also bad guy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're yeah. also the head of the World Kickboxing Federation. Yes, and... Uh, That's based in the Philippines. Yes. So can you tell us about this federation, World Kickboxing uh, Federation? Uh, World Kickboxing Federation is one of the biggest association in kickboxing. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, uh, th th it's for... Uh, Kickboxing uh, to, to arrange fights, to arrange uh, world championships and s something like this. Mm -hmm. so Are there any uh, events coming up in the Philippines that uh, we should know about? Uh, no, it not in the moment because world championship is over now. and, and Lots of kickboxers in the Philippines, yes. like in Thailand? Yes. Lots of them, yeah. yeah. Where do they get together and what do they do? Where do they meet and what do they do? Well, how do they practice? How do they promote? Oh, there's the a, a lot of clubs that mm -hmm. they, they practice and yeah. there's always a selection for go to the World Championships and mm -hmm. something like this. What, do, what is your job involved? What do you have to do besides teaching them and inspiring yeah. them? Uh, to arrange uh, fights or competitions. That, that's yeah. what you do, mm -hmm. wow. Mm -hmm. So you're going to make Philippines your home for good? Yes, I like it very much here. Forever, so. you're going to be here. You'll eat <laughs> Filipino food too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, so now the music that you have made in the Philippines that you produced, besides the one that we just saw, no? Mm -hmm. uh, when was this done? Uh, that, uh, which one? The, the new one that you, do, you did with Christian Bautista, oh, that the um, ballads and stuff. Um, this um, also, uh, we, uh, the Japanese version was released in March. And the in Japan? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. And Philippines was February. We recorded la last year. Mm -hmm. yes. So is this the CD for that? This one is the Japanese version. Uh, Japanese so the, the songs in... Yeah, Japanese album. version, yeah. but the uh, cover of the Philippine version is this one. On so back. inside the songs are in ja j Japanese? This one is Japanese version, so more Japanese songs in it. Yeah. But uh, Philippine version, we put in a lot of uh, my previous hit song also, the mm -hmm. different... Uh, the ones in English. More English, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So the one that... We'll show you a clip just now. Can we put up the clip number two of our production in the Philippines, the clip called Nai Nai? What does it mean, Nai Nai? Nai Nai means... It doesn't mean anything. Oh, it doesn't mean anything yeah. in Japanese or something, no? Japan uh, is means like Nai Nai is don't have, no, no. Like mm, no, no, like but... Na, 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 yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. That, that looks nice, baby. That looks Thank nice, no? <laughs> and that was produ produced in the Philippines? Yes. And it's out here in the Philippines now, no? 
In this, it's in the CD. It's a yes, video CD. Right. Yes. So uh, tell, the, tell us a bit about how you started off. Well, what inspired you to come into music? Was your mom well, into some kind of entertainment or dad? What brought you up? Um, well, uh, I used to, I loved music from when I was small, small, small. I used mm -hmm. to play piano and stuff like that. But the big thing is that coming to Philippines mm -hmm. and also the language barrier that we have because I couldn't speak English and of course I couldn't speak Tagalog. So you began to sing? That is also, yeah. <laughs> uh, I started, uh, um, we were doing like charity concerts and stuff like that. And people in the Philippines really love music. Mm. And the children, uh, I was singing like... I was just singing Japanese song. Mm. And they started dancing, we started dancing, mm. and they started, the children started teach me Tagalog songs. Okay. Yeah, and then I started singing, uh, learning English song. That's how yeah. I actually communicated with the children, not by yeah. talking, but by music, singing. Singing, by being happy yeah. with them. That's beautiful. So, and they told me, like, oh, you're really good. You mm. can be a singer. Then I was like, really? Mm -hmm. they, they, um, and this was in Montelupa? That was in Montelupa, yes. In, in the foundation that your mom put together? Yes. What was the name of the foundation? Kapatiran. Kapatiran. Kapatiran, yeah. okay. And yeah, and then we had a concert, a bigger concert for the mm -hmm. children. And then I was discovered by Japanese record company. That's yeah. amazing. So Philippines brought it out for you, this good in Japan, now you're coming back home, yes. no? So how has the journey been? Has it been challenging? You look like, I don't know how big a star you are globally, but you do look a bit like uh, the Spice Girls and uh, <laughs> the other one, um, Shakira and stuff. So how big a star are you from a ranking of 1 to 100 globally? Wow, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, you don't want to say that, no? No. Maybe you're the top. I'm still going. <laughs> you're still a work in progress, yes. huh? But is there a struggle out there? Is it, is it a tough thing to be in? Yes, uh, uh, music industry is, um, I think it's same everywhere. It's mm. entertainment, so it's always one, in, like you say, are you on top or not? So yeah. it's very hard to, um, but I, I enjoy music and like I want to send a positive message, so I have to be myself positive always. Yeah. And yeah, I love what I do and I, I want to be singing, that makes me happy. Yeah. So I just continued what I'm doing and I'm actually very lucky at the moment, <laughs> lucky at the moment, <laughs> like That's I'm working song. lucky at the moment, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But uh, because I'm being um, picked out a place, uh, I was in Rome last week, yeah. and um, and also in America and South Africa, and I'm, I'm invited to Bulgaria now, mm. and yeah, and also I'll be I will be collaborating with Hong Kong artists, right? So yeah, collaborating with many people and learning. Yeah. Uh, you don't have is. stage fright, no nervousness. No, because of course I get nervous. You I do, you do. Because, nervous, you know, uh, yeah. artists and actors and musicians, they have a lot of challenge. It's mm -hmm. a spiritual challenge. Before you go up on stage, I'm sure even Andy would agree to face a camera. It's not easy. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that's why people go to drugs and stuff like that. So uh. like, do you have any of those challenges? No. Would you foresee having Just them? Just first song, I get nervous, and after that, it's fine. Oh, all right, all right. So what would you tell uh, people like you, people like Andy and others and like me who want to make it in the movie industry or the music industry? How, what would you tell them? What, what's the right thing to do? I think it's what is important is believing in yourself mm -hmm. because even though you're good, if you don't believe in yourself, no one will believe. If you don't believe yourself, then no one's going to believe. And also mm -hmm. not to give up on just like it's not easy. Life is not easy. Easy. It's not only entertainment, but continuing the small stuff and just yeah, continuing and continuing and believing. Ah, so repeating. How, how about yeah. that, Andy? Does that work for you? To kind of keep chugging on into one kind of discipline? Is that your philosophy too? Yes, I think uh, my philosophy is only uh, be authentic. If you do what, what, what is right for you, mm. Is, is, is always perfect because uh, people in uh, showbiz, they, they, they sometimes they think, oh, what, what expect the audience? And, yeah. and they, 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 they change uh, themselves. Mm. But they think the best actors are, uh, are they, they only be, be authentic like Bruce Lee or uh, Sylvester Stallone. They, <laughs> are, they are only authentic. Many people would debate that Sylvester Stallone is an actor. Because they think he's just a muscle man, not an actor. But you, you I, I think he's not 
really an actor, but he's a star. My, my, actor, uh, act, uh, my teacher in acting always say there are two kinds. There, there are stars and there are actors. Right. Actors, they can uh, play everything. Yeah. But stars, they all always uh, be authentic and people like this. Is that right? Is that right? Okay, that's a different view of word of actors mm. and stars, no? Mm. Great, great. So, baby, and we're going to play, uh, what you, you're going to give us that song that you promised us, no? <laughs> yeah. the, the dream that's about to come out globally or in the Philippines? Globally. Globally. So, you're going to give it to us now? Are you ready to, like, give us a sampling of it? Just this is your time. <laughs> I mean, this is what the show is all about, to promote uh, the good work that the expats do. Uh, now? Yeah. Right there. I'll the just camera. do the little chorus. Yes. The song is quite so long. Camera on her, please. And she's going to give us two minutes of uh, two what? minutes of the song called Dream. Yes. And written, produced, and composed by Baby M. It's to be released in the Philippines or? Everywhere. Everywhere. Okay. Don't be afraid to fall And just smile at every one of us Soon you will find your way You will see Faith and love will lift you up No need to wish for wings You will make your dream come true one more, time, one more 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 time. That was really cool. That was worth the wait. That was one more time, one more time. That was really good. One more time slowly because don't look at me anymore. That was so good. One more time? Yeah, one more time. It's called Encore. Same one? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Don't be afraid to fall. And just my life, every one of us. Soon you will find your way, you'll see. Faith and love will lift you up. No need to wish for wings. You will make your dream come true. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Very good. So we have an audience and they loved it too. So that was fantastic. And this is a whole song produced in the Philippines? Yes. I will be um, donating this song for the um, NGO. And also for we the have a Kapitira, Kapitiran. Uh, no, it's for Voice of Hope. And also... Um, Voice of Hope? Voice what is of Voice of Hope? Hope? Voice of Hope is a new NGO that we, our families are doing. That is the part of the... Uh, we are planning to... I don't know if I can say this, but we are planning to put up a hospital. In, in the Philippines? In the hospital, yeah, in the Philippines. We're not allowed to say it yet. <laughs> We're just planning. You just said it. Yeah, so we will be doing some concerts and stuff like that. They asked me, um, a German company, and everybody's going to be supporting some island, some island, we don't know yet. Yeah. Uh, but um, they asked me what I can do, so I decided to donate a song so that um, we can learn together and also all the promotion that I will be doing for this song that will come back to Philippines I, I, I actually want to explore this. You, you say you're not supposed to talk about this, but yeah, you almost told me <laughs> a little bit about it, so you're leaving the mystery hanging, no? Yes. Mm -hmm. So a uh, couple of questions. Are if Andy's part of that, is Andy part of the thing? Yes. Voice of Hope, you're part of Voice of Hope, Andy? Yes, sir. Uh, <coughs> I'm a representative of Sword of Freedom here in Philippines. Sorry. Uh, Sword of, of Freedom. Freedom is a peace organization. What's the name? Sword of Freedom. Ah, Sword of yeah. Freedom, okay. It comes from Saudi Arabia and yeah. uh, uh, I, I do recording all the, the, the missions, the medical missions and the videos. Oh, you document them? Yes. And you document uh, them, yeah? And, uh, and send it to, to Europe uh, to find donors there. Yeah. They support the hospital and that's, that's what we do. I, in your place, I would be really proud of what you're doing. I would mm -hmm. tell you that, no? I would really be proud of supporting mm -hmm. peace and kids, what you guys are doing. Mm -hmm. And if I was in your place, I'd be screaming about it, <laughs> the stuff mm -hmm. I'm doing, no? So like singing like her. Mm -hmm. So that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. uh, one question. You said your family. Yes. Does that, would you want to tell me a bit about your family? 
the Filipino, the Japanese, or the South African family. Yes. You don't um, have to mention names if you don't have to. I know. My mom started, um, um, well, my great-great-father was doing a charity already uh, for in apartheid time in South Africa. So South African grandfather, South okay, yes. yeah. My, um, my family has always been doing charity for a long, long time. So mm. my mom grew up in charity family, <laughs> mm. you know. And then um, my mom come here and came here and started this feeding center, uh, feeding uh, program. The one that you took, in the cup of tea, right? Yes. Yeah. And then oh, we met our brother and sister, so we picked up. Met your street. brother and sister, adopted, you mean? Adopted, okay. yes. Um, we were in very uh, malnourished age, mm -hmm. with, you know, that we see in the movies, like really shocking, like very thin and big tummy. Yeah, like they show yeah. in uh, yes. National Geographic or Discovery, yes. yeah. So that's how we started more going into um, focusing on the children mm -hmm. for feeding and yeah, because first of all is eating, right? What humans should do. Oh, the first need is food. Yeah, food. That's, the yeah. Uh, that's the pinaka basic need. In Tagalog, it's pinaka basic need. Huh? Right, yes. Fantastic. A song like this, uh, how long does it take to compose? How much do you have to practice? How many times do you have to shoot it? Um, Depends on the songs and depends on how I get uh, inspired. Like if I work with an American track maker, when they send it to me, then if I get inspired, I will write song in one hour, two hours. Like Nina and Rainy Days, I was inspired, so I wrote them in two hours. But sometimes it takes one week to mm -hmm. finish a song because first is the easy one, but the second verse is always hard. Mm. So well, what does that mean? Because first you s inspire, then you think about the story. But you need the oh. story needs to continue, and what's the end? What you have to talk oh, about? Oh, so you're saying yeah. the first couple of lines and the first yeah. couple of melodies are easy, easy, but to build on verse three, four, and five to make it worth three or four minutes, and then yes. they're probably not as good or as intense as the first one. Yeah, that's why. You're right. It's really work and really have to think because the song have to build up mm. and have to be more interesting. Th that's like l that's like script writing or story <laughs> writing to <laughs> movies, yeah. you know. To come up with the opening or the scenario is fine, uh -huh. but how do you sustain and continue the scenario? So you have the same challenge in making Manila Dragon, Andy. Uh, th Manila Dragon is not my writing, but I write on an own script. Mm. But in my case, is uh, I wake up in the in, in the night. And I have an idea, and I write it, and I write it, and I write it, and uh, I can I can sleep the whole whole uh, night, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's it's always an inspiration that that comes if I sit down on the my table and I I try to write. Mm. Mm -hmm. I sit there for hours and no nothing happens, mm -hmm. but uh, if I'm uh, sleeping or sitting somewhere, it just comes right. It comes and and I write and. I, w I was just thinking, I also write, but of course mm -hmm. I don't like write like you. I write blogs mm -hmm. and a few books and stuff, no? Mm -hmm. I was thinking maybe we should start backwards. Instead of starting with the starting, we mm -hmm. start with the ending. Oh, yeah. And then you work backwards and say, this is what I'm going to say in the end. Right? right. So okay. that's my final uh, verse, my final climax in the movie or the final message of what I'm writing, and then I work backwards into how do I reach that message? How do I open up? So would that be an idea that might work oh for yeah. musicians? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That might work for you. You want to try yes, that? Yeah, huh? I'll try you that. Try that. So <laughs> what, what, is, what is happening next for you, baby, here in the country, uh, the days that you're here? Well, uh, um, we're planning for a mall tour. Yeah, besides Voice of Hope and the hospital, no? Yes, yes, yes. And you're not giving me any details about this hospital. Well, no, not yet. Well, let me tell you this. <laughs> as and when you put up that hospital, you can come back here and tell us more about it. I want to hear about the hospital. Very important. Andy, you too. Mm -hmm. So go ahead. What's happening for you in the next few days here in this country? Well, we're planning for more tour here in the Philippines and also um, I'm writing music now for next album. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I'm going to Hong Kong soon. Mm -hmm. No, in the Philippines. What are you doing for any event in the Philippines? Uh, not for this month, but it will be on November. Oh, what is that event? Uh, it will be on all the SM malls. So oh, somebody's promoting you here? Yes. Uh, wow. It will be a collaboration with the uh, um, uh, lotion company Array. So it will be fun event. We don't know the date yet. We're just busy. Uh, building up the eggs. It will be, all the poster will be out there. 
Wow, so if you need any support or if you yeah. need somebody if you to, baby M, if you need a bodyguard yeah. or something, call Andy. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so working in uh, singing to a Japanese audience and singing to a Filipino audience, no? What's the difference? Is there, the, is it the same thing? I don't know. The all the people that likes my music, it sounds like similar. Even you, though don't, you, you don't, you don't care. It doesn't matter no. for you. They're all the same. Yeah. Andy, working for you in Hong Kong or in Switzerland, working on the screen where your audience is a different, does that make any difference to you? I, d I like uh, to have different experience. Uh, last week we worked with uh, people from Japan for a uh, fighting scene. Yeah, and, and for this same movie, Manila Dragon? Uh, no, it's another project yeah. from, uh, from Rob Green. And this was... Uh, uh, very from what? From Rob Green? Rob Green, yes. Rob Green is the actor? Uh, he he makes movies he's from, uh, from Orlando, Florida. Mm -hmm. And he, he, uh, uh, he makes a, a movie. And we, we shoot the scene. It's very violent. And, uh In the Philippines, with Japanese technicians? Yes. Wow. Mm. Uh, don't, don't make bloody movies. You know. <laughs> <laughs> love movies, you know, bad stuff. Okay. Yeah. But, it's, but it's an experience because uh, I like uh, to work with different people, see different styles. Because if, if I do fight scenes, it's always a mix because uh, it's between uh, Hong Kong style and American style. Mm. Because uh, I like to learn from everybody. And uh, between all this, I create my own style. Mm. You know, you don't look like a fighting man. I don't know I if know. you like Yeah, he looks so it's peaceful crazy. and loving no yeah. all right so ladies and gentlemen uh, thank you very much for being on this show if there's anything i should have asked you about martial arts movies or yourself mm -hmm. baby m your time to tell me that otherwise i'll let uh, the clip that you brought me be seen is there something you want to share with your audience your friends um yeah um my album um baby m so uh, this not this one, one not, not this one, one. Uh, the philippine one is there and also Christian Bautista's two song is in there mm -hmm. and yeah I will be continuing with my charity work so Voice of Hope Voice and of Hope and yeah you Kapatiran. 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 Andy any final words for you uh, do you want to share with your friends in the Philippines with your members with your audience hmm? oh. <laughs> I look here yeah you look there um, no idea. No idea. <laughs> <laughs> Camera conscious martial artist. Okay. So good luck with your movie Manila Dragon. And don't beat up people. Don't make bloody movies. Make nice movies. Give us hope. Give us the voice of hope. So thank you very much for being on Expat Insights. And Baby M, thank you very much for being on Expat Insights. I love the work your mom does. I wish I'd brought your mom on sh the show. <laughs> so she would tell me a few things. Next time maybe, no? Yes. So we'll play that little clip by Baby M that she did in the Philippines with uh, Christian Bautista, the Filipino artist, and it's a ballad called Rainy Day or Sakura. This one is Sakura. Sakura. So we'll just have one minute of that. We'll close on that. Thank you for watching Expat Insights. Next week on Expat Insights, we have two ladies coming up. One is a lady called Joan Weston. She is um, from the West Indies, and another one is from Philippines, Delby Brown, guys. And we'll talk about beauty inside and out. I'm your host, Raju Mandian. Stay watching Expat Insights and good night. Have a great weekend. Let's watch that clip. Good night.